Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com with more of those secrets to unlock his heart. Today's a little bit of a different video for you. I wanted to give you a quick Q&A that I got because I got an email from somebody who was talking about falling for a married guy. I'm gonna run through her letter really quickly so that I can get really quickly to my answer, but I'm gonna cover the high points of it with you. She said, basically, uh, she knows how I constantly caution against getting involved with somebody who's married, and she never intended to, but she started a friendship with a guy who was married, uh, and she thought, well, she could handle it. And at the very start, the guy set the boundaries of, you know, I love my wife, I have good friendships with women, and, and I have definite boundaries, and if you cross them, well, I'll cut you off, which sounded pretty healthy to me. She says, he sent me texts, I sent him texts, he's taken care of me in a lot of ways, emotionally, even to a degree financially. Uh, she told him things she hasn't told anyone. She had a close brother who died a few years ago, and she gradually found herself depending on this guy more and more over the years. They live thousands of miles apart, and they see each other once a year at best. But for the last two years over the phone, he's listened to her regularly, he's given her good sound advice, brotherly affection, and sometimes what seems like more than that. She discovered she was emotionally involved a lot more deeply than, deeply than she intended to be, and she knew she needed to cut it off, but she just couldn't because she had that feel of being in love with him in the romantic sense. And worse, it was the, the kind of love for him that she'd also have for a really close brother, the one that makes you want all good things for them, the kind that would make her grieve as much as uh, for losing him as she did over losing her actual brother when he died. And she goes on to say, what's wrong with me? Why did I cross the emotional line? And how is he able to have this relationship without crossing the lines? Why do men think it's okay to have girl friends and treat them so well without realizing what they're actually doing to their head, to women's heads? How do they not get it? Why did she let herself stay in the pot of water until it gradually boiled? How do men stay so detached emotionally? Why would he spend so much time on me without feeling anything more than friendship? And she says she's so confused. Well, my answer is this. And I had to put out a warning that it's not going to be easy for her to hear because there's some things she needs to be told because other dating coaches out there might coddle you, help you feel like a victim, but that's just not my style. And a lot of them will give you some rah-rah speech about, you go girl, he's just another guy looking to lean on you and he's using you, whatever. The fact of the matter is, from what you told me, Missy, he's done everything right so far. And now you're angry because you developed unrequited feelings of attachment to him. Sure, he probably should pull back a little bit on the contact. It's a little bit of uh, a little bit of the energy there that probably should be funneled into his own relationship. But whatever, he's done a lot of awesome things for you. And I get it, you spend that much time opening your heart to somebody, you wind up feeling like it's a real relationship. But I wanna run through some facts here. First of all, he set some clear boundaries at the start and he's maintained those healthy boundaries. He's been a gentleman, he never abused those limits physically with you. He's been a reliable friend to you. He's taken care of you both emotionally and financially. He's respected his marriage by being faithful. He's doing what every woman seems to ask of every male friend out there. And now you wanna pay this friendship back by wanting him to cheat on his marriage with you? Well, that's what I'm interpreting from that. I mean, your message even changed in tone from what's wrong with me for letting this happen to what's wrong with him? And even pointing a little finger of blame at the entire gender of men for your emotional confusion. Look, there's nothing wrong with him, but you gotta admit that there's a saying out there that fits the situation to a T. You can't have your cake and eat it too. By the way, that used to confuse me. What it means is once you eat the cake, it's gone, right? So you no longer have it. The bottom line is you just can't have it both ways. Just because this guy was an excellent friend, and I mean excellent friend to you over the years, doesn't mean you get to go turn on him and make him the bad guy because he suddenly fulfilled your dreams of the ideal romantic boyfriend. Here's the important thing. Whenever you pine over a guy that you have as a friend and you're wondering, why couldn't we have been more than that? Who's to say that this guy would have been anything like this if you had been together in a romantic way? You gotta think about it that way. Maybe this friendship wouldn't have worked out if you were romantic. I know what it's like to be in the same exact situation. Trust me, I've been there before and I understand how hard it is to shake off those feelings when it has you in its little vice-like grip. But there's a reason that you're leaning on him, Missy. You're reason leaning on him so hard, isn't there? And it's because he's there. Let me give you a few suggestions for handling this. Start by valuing the friendship you have rather than the romance you don't have. It sounds like he's done a lot for you and maybe gratitude is the best place to start when you reflect on his feelings for you. Maybe this guy is a spiritual replacement for that brother you lost. Perhaps the universe is actually giving you a gift in the form of this friendship. Think about it that way. You should probably also decrease the amount of time you spend wishing you had a romance with this guy and interacting with him. Every minute you're spending with him is a minute you could have been spending looking for Mr. Right. 
increase the time you spend actively seeking out new relationships with available men. I'm emphasizing available right there. I mean, are you dating right now? Are you putting things on hold while you search your heart and build up more emotional investment in this fantasy relationship? My guess is it's probably closer to that. And you know the worst part? From my own experience, I'll bet you even feel a twinge like you're cheating on this friend of yours by pursuing other romances. Yeah, I know that feeling. Look, it's uncomfortable, but you gotta get out there and start dating and use this friendship as only a friendship. You're gonna discover that this friendship can be treasured again just as a friendship, and it's the only way to get over these these really extreme feelings for your special friend. And more importantly, you're gonna realize that there are indeed plenty of single available, emotionally available, that is, fish in the sea. So let's find you the soulmate you want and deserve. And speaking of which, when you do find an available guy you're interested in, here's something to think about. Did you know that every guy is subconsciously waiting for each uh, any woman that he dates to give him a very secret signal that she is the one? It's called the soulmate signal. And once his partner gives him that some all-important telltale signal, it will flip all the switches in his head to completely unlock his heart to you. This is something that most women miss and then they wind up wasting a perfectly good opportunity. So I put up a good video for you, a great video, great presentation, explaining how the signal works and how to transmit this soulmate signal to your man. This one factor is gonna break down everything that uh, comes up when he's feeling confused or he needs space and you'll know exactly what to do to make him think of you as the one. Go on over to watch my free presentation at www.datingadviceguru.com forward slash soulmates. That's datingadviceguru.com forward slash soulmates. And I'll tell you exactly how this works. This is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com. Live and love with passion.